Hey everybody, I'm Salty Seattle and we're gonna make the most adorable pasta shape ever. They're called caramelle. Caramelle just means candies in Italian. We are going to use two different colors of dough. Our yellow dough is enhanced with turmeric and then our pinkish purple, almost fuchsia dough is made from dragon fruit powder. So first we need to sheet it out and get it nice and thin. So in front of me, I have the two sheets of pasta that have been sheeted out to about the third thinnest setting. And I'm going to cut the dragon fruit sheet, so that nice pink fuchsia one, into fettuccine with strips. My turmeric sheet will be my base sheet in this case. So with caramelle, if you're doing the stripe pattern, you have a few choices. You can lay your stripes uh, either parallel or perpendicular to your sheet, or as we're going to do, because we want little diagonals, you can lay the fettuccine strips diagonally. I'll just start in one corner and make my way across the pasta sheet. Stripes is one of my favorite patterns to do with pasta because you see you can cover a field, a fairly, a fairly big field like that in just a few seconds flat. I'm gonna put it back through the pasta machine but I need to trim the edges first so that when I put it through the pasta machine, none of those edges catch or tear on the machine. So I want fluted edges on the side of my caramelle. So I'm going to use this fluted rolling cutter here. I'll take a little bit of filling. Now think of this as just making a little candy packet. I'm going to place some filling in the middle of where my candy packet would be. And then these are the edges there. So I'm gonna roll over. Oh, I know that I need to cut about right there. And then I have enough. And then I come over, candy pack it in the center there, and I just pinch the sides together, like so. There you have it, that's caramelle. These are delicious, served in a brown butter sauce. And the particular brown butter sauce that I love is in my book, Pasta Pretty Please. It is a garam masala and poppy seed brown butter, and it is to die for. It works really well, plays very nicely with the butternut squash filling. It would make an exceptional Thanksgiving side. Uh, if you enjoyed our pasta making moment, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Salty Seattle, and I will see you next time.